What's up everyone, this is Cybernet CCG, and today we'll be opening up a Force of Will, uh, the Millennial Ages booster box for you guys. Of course, uh, I'm still learning a lot about Force of Will, so forgive me on this opening if I don't know some of the better cards from it. Uh, yeah, this is like the second box I've opened, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm still kind of a noob at this <laughs> on Force of Will, unfortunately. I'm learning the game though, and it's pretty cool, I, especially like, you know, just the cards and like the, how they had like the different fairy tales and stuff too from the last set on this. I think there's some in this one too, if I remember correctly. I have to I have to see, and uh, yeah, so let's see what we get from this. And of course, I got this from Bing Collectibles, so be sure to check them out, link in the description. When you get a box of them, you also get a promo card, which you are getting uh, this one, which is, uh, let's see, it's hard to read it through that plastic. It is uh, Hemlin's uh, Pied Piper. So there you go. It's cool to get a promo card, but hopefully you guys can see it. I know it's kind of a dark card on there. There you go. It looks awesome, too, to get. Yeah, there's supposed to be these new stamped cards in this as well. With the full art stamped, I believe is what they're called, officially. Looks like, too, on, on these uh, boxes, you get a lot of packs. It reminds me of, like, Magic the Gathering, how their boxes are. You get 36 packs, so let's go on ahead and start doing this opening. This is going to be a longer opening, probably. With Force of Will, you get so many packs, so that's awesome. Makes it worth the price, too. Let's see, and we have a super rare right off the bat. That's really cool looking. It is uh, Glavistelia, the Keeper of Magic Stones. So that's cool to see. Also, I like the, the backs of the cards. See that? <laughs> I just think that looks cool. I don't know. I guess I'm easily amused. And we have a Hollow Common, which is a spell Chant Instant. I guess I'll name that one off too. So there you go. Get a rare, uncommon, and everything too. I don't know if I should name off everything. I think I'll name off like whatever's the highest rarity in the pack itself or, or hollow, I guess. So super rare though. It's a good way to start off the opening. I don't know, should I eh, I don't know, because it was I guess I'll still separate the, the hollows too. Let's just do it like that. It's hard to figure out what's the best way on these. You guys can suggest different stuff too in the future how we should sort these when we do boxes pack openings, because I want to do more openings on it. Like I said, I need to learn more about the game, too. A few different common cards. Let's see, and then we have a rare holographic card, which is Amaris the uh, Magus of Light, which is really cool looking. There we go. Rare. So I guess we'll do like that, like hollow light cards there, and then like super rares we'll keep separate. There. That'll be our sorting method. There's a rare and everything too. That looks really cool. He almost looks like it's holographic, so I had to double check on that one. I know last time, you can tell I'm really trying to double check on everything too, because last time I messed up on one of the cards and uh, put it with the low rarity cards. And oh, here's one of the uh, the signed cards, the uh, full art signed cards with Force of Wills. You can see on the side and everything too, and like the the stamp for the symbol and all. It looks really cool. And that is Erebon the Mage, and it is a rare from that. So that just looks awesome. And of course, the back's still the same on them and everything too. But yeah, they just have like Force of Will stamped on them. That's just kind of a cool thing. I believe you can get different versions of it as well. You know, not just that version. So I guess we'll put it with the hollows on that one. Then a rare. Which is awesome. And common stuff too. I like the artworks on all these. I'm kind of just looking at them the whole time. There we go. And we have a super rare, which is uh, Meles, the Invisible Ghostly Flame. So that's a pretty cool super rare card on there. It's awesome. Guess what? Super rare. Like I said, right there. I keep getting that one. <laughs> Get a few of that one. Hopefully, it's a good thing. I don't even know what I would build on this game either. Have to see. Maybe it'll depend on what I get from this. Let's see, this is an uncommon holographic, and that is Christy, the Warden of Sanctuary. So, again, awesome looking. And there's the regular version of it as well. Thing yet. 
Oh man, I like the artwork on this one. I feel so dumb when I do Force Wheel openings. I'm like, oh cool, you know, this is this is neat looking because I, I just don't know as much about it like the other car games. I guess because it's kind of newer and especially newer to me. So again, be sure to help me out in the comments on things if you guys can't point out certain things. Uh, Liberate the world, and that is a common holographic. So nice artwork on it. Kind of give me an idea too on what I should build and all that kind of stuff because I I'd like to know. Might end up being like a two-part thing. <laughs> I think I did that with the last one just because these are a lot of different uh, stuff to open up. Lean the successor of Sacred Wind, and that is a rare. Then we get a just a non-hollow rare version of it as well. Some of these are tough to the tear open. They have like a tear on them, sort of like a card fight does. I wish Yu-Gi-Oh would start doing that. They do for Japan. Alright, here's another one of the stamped cards, and that is uh, Purple Mist, the Fantasy Dragon. Oh, man, that looks, that does look really cool, having Force of Will on it and everything, too. I like that foil look. There we go. Now a rare. The super rare, and that is uh, Majari, the Queen of Fantasy World. I think that's supposed to be a pretty good one, too. That's awesome. I like the artwork on it. It just looks really cool. And that's so super rare. We'll put it there. And that's that. We have a common holographic, which is uh, the Moon Incarnation. Which looks pretty cool as well. It has, like, the, the moon in it and everything. Mount Immortal. Have Uncommon Holographic, which is Alice's Soldier. That's cool looking. And then Purple Mist, that's just a rare version of it. And let's just try to do this whole thing in one video. Oh, super rare. I about to say, I almost skipped that completely. We have a... I'm not sure how you say it. The Teller of the Crimson Moon. How about that? We'll just <laughs> name it like that. It's really cool, though. Super rare. All the colors and stuff just looks awesome. And then after that, we have Shining Bamboo, which is a uh, common. I'll say, I think I screwed up on one of those. Yeah. There. I fixed it. It's all good now. Nobody knows. See, and a rare holographic, which is uh, a Neerthrope, uh, the Usuper, I think. And yeah, we got a holographic version of it and then a regular. Yeah, that is hard to say correctly, but there you go. Or, you know, close enough. Alright, a super rare, and that is Kaguya, the uh, Tale of Bamboo Cutter. Remember, this is the one I got uh, from, like, the, the last box, and she's on the cover, too, which is awesome. But, uh, like, the one I got last time, I had, like, the both sides and everything with the artwork. That's pretty cool. Then a rare on that one as well. So we got the main card. Hopefully that's good. I honestly don't know. I'm sorry. I need to do more research on this game. A lot more. And I plan to after this. We have a common holographic, which is uh, Retharth the Wind Castle.
There we go. That pack didn't want to open easily. I have an Uncommon Holographic, which is uh, Mephistopheles, the Demon Collaborator. I think it's the name of that one. That is a Holographic. Then, uh, yeah, another rare and everything. There's the uh, Uncommon version of it that's not hollow as well. I think it's supposed to be like a 50 card set, too, or something. Next week I'll be opening up the, the trial deck and, and stuff too uh, for First Will. There's going to be more First Will uh, product openings on this channel, so be sure to subscribe. And I'll learn a lot more through it too. Zero, the Flashing Mage Warrior. Man, that one's really cool looking. I think I remember that from, uh, I've seen like artwork or something. That's awesome looking. Rare and everything too on that one. Let's see, what is that? Yeah, that was rare. Started thinking it was super rare. So if the one good thing too on this that I don't have a whole lot of knowledge is that if anyone else also wants to try out this card game and they don't really have any knowledge on it either, we'll we'll learn together. That's just how it will be. Oh, here's another one of the stamp cards. This is the the card I got out of the first pack, pretty much. This is just the stamp version of it, and that is a super rare, and it is a Grisbasta, the Keeper of Magic Stones. Yeah, I believe that wasn't that the first one I got. Yeah. That's really, he looks awesome as one of the stamped cards. That's cool. Maybe build some around him if, if he's one of the better ones. Again, I'm not sure on, especially the building stuff. I still need to learn more of the basics. Lately, I've been learning a lot more about Hero Clicks and, uh, and Buddy Fight, and even Y Schwartz, so. <laughs> Too many card games. I think that's kind of my deal. But I can't open. I like all the different card games. Let's see, Super Rare, that is um, unless the Invisible Ghostly Flame. And then we have a Transparent Moon for a common holographic. I think I, yeah, we got one of those already. I think I got the stamp version. But yeah, I think it's awesome that Bacon Collectibles is having a lot of uh, different card games lately. Force of Will and everything. Oh, here's another stamp card. We have uh, the Flea, the successor of Sacred Wind, and that is a holographic uh, stamped rare version, so yeah, I guess, yeah, we'll go over there. So we're getting that one per pack. Hopefully that's a good thing. <laughs> Seems like she's right after, like, if there's a hollow or higher rarity card. I think she's, like, rare or something anyway. Hopefully it's pretty good. Have a uh, Hansel and Gretel. Well, that's easy. <laughs> Uncommon holographic. I was kind of thinking it. You know, it's not them, is it? Yes, it is. There we go. And, yeah, another super rare. This is the, the main one again. And that's Kaguya, the tail of the uh, bamboo cutter. So that's awesome. And uh, it is a super rare. And then after that, we have uh, Reef Farth, the uh, wind castle. And that is a common holographic. I think I've done pretty good on this box. Again, not really having the knowledge to know. But it seems like I'm getting some pretty cool looking cards and... A lot of super rares and stuff, so I think that's good. It's kind of like I said in the Buddy Fight opening, too. Isn't it always supposed to be a good thing when you get the cover card? <laughs> uh, grew up last, uh, the uh, Keeper of Magic Stones. It's a holographic version that's super rare. So I think we have one of every version of this card. <laughs> that's really cool. Maybe I should use this one. I'm not sure. Not sure if he's one of the better ones or not from this. And then a rare, which is uh, uh, Fish Fishing uh, the Elvish Oracle. That is, yeah, <laughs> weird word to say. We might make it under that 30 minute mark. I hope so. About halfway there. And more than halfway on the box. See a rare holographic, which is Little Red, the Hope of Millennia. That's cool. 
Hadn't seen that one yet, so. There we go. Oh, it's super rare. I almost completely skipped over that. Sorry. I'm used to super having a little bit of holographic to it. And that is uh, the Teller of the Crimson Moon. Again, I'm not sure how you say the first part of her name. She looks amazing, though. On the, I mean, just the artworks is, and the colors and stuff on that just looks so cool to me. Transparent Moon. I'm actually saying it the right way this time as a common holographic. Still can't believe I read off the bottom part. Ugh. <laughs> so stupid. I'm concentrating so hard on trying to say the names right and make sure that I'm not skipping a card that I went stupid for a second. Well, maybe longer. I don't know. First step's admitting it. We have a uncommon holographic and that Grim the Heroic King of Aspiration. Uncommon holographic is always... Man, that is scary. <laughs> Blazer the Awakener. Wow. That's just... Yeesh. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of clowns anyway, but holy crap. Why don't you just... God, you scare everyone <laughs> that plays this game. The stuff of nightmares. Someone just, just a little bit disturbed, whoever created that card. Every, which is uh, Lenia the uh, Liar Girl. Or is it Lunia? I think it's Lunia. Ew, whoever made that clown card's disturbed. <laughs> A lot scarier than the Joker, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's what it reminds me of. I don't know, maybe like the Heath Ledger Joker. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's probably about the same scariness. Uh, common Holographic, which is uh, Mount Immortal. Although the new one looks pretty terrifying. See, we have a rare, which is uh, one of the stamp cards again. I think, yeah, we already got one of these uh, in this form, and that is uh, Purple Myth, the Fantasy Dragon. Awesome as always. And uh, it's a rare. Really hope I didn't miss any super rares. I'll double check through the, through the cards and everything, too, so don't worry. It's really tough whenever some cards are, you know, they're high rarity, yet they're, you know, they don't have any holographic to them. Oh man, <laughs> of course you get this holographic. Blazer the Awakener. Wow. I still say that is just disturbing. Seriously. I know I'm, I'm probably a baby about it, but whew. <laughs> Clowns are just terrifying. Never a fan. Uncommon holographic, which is Arya the Last Vampire. And then we got a little red, the Hope of Millennia. Again, that's a non-holographic version of that one. I've only seen, I think, two of those from these openings. The one that was that we just saw, and then the holographic version. I think. Maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. A super rare, again, with the one I can't say correctly. That is uh, the Taylor of the Crimson Moon. I'm just going to go with that, like always. Super rare holographic. On that, we got this one before. That looks a little different. Also, <laughs> I guess my voice gets high whenever you <laughs> when you see a, a card I don't normally see. Oh man, this card looks awesome. That is, uh, let's see, Magic Stone of Blasting Waves. I think this is supposed to be a really good card to get, too. I'm not really sure, because, like I said, my knowledge only goes so far on Force of Will still at the moment, but, uh, yeah, that's got to be awesome, because, I mean, just look at it. That's really cool looking. It's like the whole card, too, is the artwork. That's got to be a good one. I hope so. And a super, which is uh, Grabosa, the Keeper of Magic Stones, which I guess he was around one of the Magic Stones, so there you go. Which, hmm, I guess... I don't know. I guess I'll put it with the super rare, because it seems like they're the high rarity. Let's go with that. Not really sure what that qualifies. I 
have a uh, Purple Mist, the Fantasy Dragon, again as a rare holographic. I think we only got three packs left. Good, we're doing better on time than I thought we were. This is going to take a while to upload. Let's see, we have a common holographic, which is uh, fetal movement in outer world. Stack of <laughs> cards kind of leaning. Play Jenga here in a little bit with cards. We have Christy, the Warden of Sanctuary for Uncommon Holographic. And last pack. What do we end with? There we go. Come on, it's got to be epic. And we get a stamped card with the one <laughs> I still don't know how to say, and that is the Teller of Crimson Moon. So there we go. Looks like we did. I think we did pretty well with our opening. Let's see. There we go. Super rares and stuff we have here. It just looks like, I think that stone's supposed to be really good, but again, I'm not really sure. My knowledge only goes so far on Force of Will. Still learning, obviously, <laughs> from this video. And then, of course, our holographics that we got that are, you know, uncommons and rares and stuff. You can see a lot of different cards. Stamp cards, too, in that. So, I think we've done pretty well, but uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments. What are some of the better cards that we got? And also, if you have any suggestions on what kind of deck I should make on Force of Will and stuff like that. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Just come over and subscribe. Be sure to check out Bing Collectibles. Like I said, they have a lot of card games on their store. Force of Will, what they're starting to do now, too. So like I said, I'll start doing Force of Will openings as well. And uh, yeah, be sure to check them out, as always. Link in the description. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.